Hi there guys, so chapter 2 of the Golden Pyramid Divine Event has just begun in DML, so obviously the main prize in chapter 2 of this event is the Seth Dragon, so it is going to be a Divine Chess Reward Dragon, and the Seth is basically just an upgrade to the Autumn Dragon, so he's Divine Shadow and Plant, very good dragon, but there are a lot of mini events that are going to be going on which give you the opportunity to earn divine tickets because every divine ticket you get to open a divine chest like this shows us here and every 10 chests you get one divine ticket for free but i do want to preface this by saying that the odds are that it takes about 700 chests on average to unlock the seth dragon so yes, 700 tickets worth. <laughs> That's quite a lot of tickets. Uh, but aside from just the Seth Dragon, you can also get the Mao Dragon out of this chest, which I know a ton of people loved. You can also get the Fennec Dragon, which is one that I really liked. And then the other dragon that you can get out of this chest is the Gazelle Dragon, which is probably my favorite out of this whole chest, to be honest with you. But along with that, you can also get decoration pieces, as you see here. You can get gold, you can get food, you can get Dragon Fury, and you can get VIP tickets as well. And there is one more dragon that we can get from this chapter, and that is the Chameleon Dragon. And he's actually available in the Boss Challenge event. So we will be going through the events that have come in Chapter 2. So first off, we have a new solo event called the Egyptian Mission, where the first prize is 15 tickets, and you get a ton of tickets based off of all of these 10 tiers. So in the first tier here, we have to collect gold, collect food, and breed elemental hybrids. So we'll go and collect gold, and apparently, you can only collect one gold every hour and a half. And same with the collecting food. One item every hour and a half? That seems pretty insane, to be honest with you. And I can't do the elemental hybrid breeding quite yet, as you can see, but that is literally all that we can do in the Egyptian mission at the moment. So that was quite an underwhelming start to this solo event. You know, I'd imagine that they'd at least be a little bit kinder with the, the you know, the item rates, but I guess not. And so the second event that has come out is this boss challenge event. So... Ah, oh, yeah, what a fascinating place you've discovered. I can hardly wait to observe and research these ancient dragons. Just be polite, Professor. They've been nice enough to allow us to stick around and play before they send us home. The dragons here really love to battle, just like me. I bet we can befriend them if we show them a good time. Uh, can I come along too? And so, you can see that the chameleon dragon is in the center here, and we have to take on each of these fights every couple of hours. So we've got the baby chameleon dragon that is, I don't know, guiding us through this little event, I guess. So we will wreck this fight. Easiest fight of my life. And then again, you have to wait two hours between every fight to continue on. Or you can skip the fights using nine gems. It's up to you, really. But if you do want the Chameleon Dragon, you have to beat round four of this event. So you have to do one loop, two loop, three loop, four loop, <laughs> basically, if you want to unlock the Chameleon Dragon. And on average, it's quite tight doing these boss challenge events because... Having to come back every two hours means that a lot of the time you end up having to miss out on quite a bit of sleep. So this will be a tough event. The Egyptian mission, I don't even know how this is going to be possible within the one week time frame that we've been given. But we've got one week for the boss challenge, one week for the Egyptian mission, and of course the same thing, one week for the Seth Divine Chess. So... As of right now, we actually can't even earn any Divine Tickets, which is kind of annoying. Oh, and don't forget, in Otto's Lotto, you do also have the chance of getting singular Divine Tickets as well. So you do probably have to watch like 700 videos of Disney Magic Kingdoms before you get one. But 
make sure you are watching the Otto's Lara stuff. That is pretty much the main way that you're going to be getting tickets, like, without having to do the solo events and stuff like that. So just go into the free rewards, watch an ad video, and go spin the wheel. But one more thing to point out is, in the special offers, there is another special little decorative item called the Pyramid of the Sun. So this does generate divine tickets with an earning rate of one divine ticket every three hours. So even if you buy it instantly, you're only going to get like 60, 70-ish sort of tickets. Depends on how often you log in, really. But obviously, they are going to help you out, and £1.69 isn't really that much money. So you can get a cool decoration and get some free tickets, but... You know, compare like 60, 80, 90 to the 700 on average that you need for a divine. Not all that many. And then the other bundle that I know a lot of people have been waiting on is the Apep Dragon bundle. So this guy, obviously we have never seen him in game before, but he is finally here in his bundle. You can get him, a legendary habitat, and 125 tickets. And he costs £41.74 on PC. He was like £48 on Android, which is like, why is there such a massive difference in the cost? But, you know, again, 125 tickets is only just above a seventh of what you'll actually need to actually get one of the Divine Dragons on average. So, if you are going to invest into this, be aware that you're probably definitely not going to get the Divine out of this still. But the Pep Dragon, I did love him. I did want to get a hold of him, but £40 is just too steep. I have never spent more than, like, £20 ever on a dragon. And that's when everyone was like, yeah, yeah, you have to buy it. You have to buy one Quacks. And I was like, fine, I will do it. But overall, you know, just immediately going into these events, there's, like, nothing else for us to do. Like, what do we do? We just sit here and wait every two hours for the stuff to be done? Like, maybe the reason the Egyptian mission quests are like this is because if you set it to roughly every two hours, then it works out the same as the boss challenge time is. But I don't know. I mean, if it is every hour and a half and then two hours, you're going to be having to log in twice every two hours. And I don't know how doable that is for a lot of people, to be honest with you. So... That is the general gist of Chapter 2 of the Divine Event thus far. And again, I don't know what else to say. I was hoping for at least something else. At least a Divine Ticket or two to, you know, just start us off. But also remember that there is apparently the chance to get a full Divine Dragon out of one chest. And so far... I don't believe they've told us what the drop rate for that is, but imagine getting 120 pieces all in one chest. Like, the odds cannot be very high. It must be like 0.007 or something like that, just to, you know, go with the 700 theme from before, but jeez. <laughs> you know, they posted on the forums that... Hopefully the experience is better this time for getting divines, but there is no way we can get anywhere near like 700, 800 chests for free. Because you've also got to remember that the tickets that you get for this chapter, chapter 2, you cannot use them in chapter 4. Because just like the castle event currency, the currency will be changing over to a different kind. So, what a lot of people did in the old castle events is they sort of hoarded all of their tickets and spent them all on one chest. So they'd, like, ignore the first couple of chests or so and then just spend all of them on the last chest to get one divine almost guaranteed. Or, you know, as close to guaranteed as you can ever get in a bottomless pit. But we can't do that anymore. So you literally have to get so lucky if you want to have a chance at getting those divines for free. Like, no joke, the chance of getting even the divine anyway, even if you 
managed to finish the boss challenge, the solo event, um, I don't know, any mini events that they bring out. I'm going to say that the chances of getting the Divine in either chest as a free-to-play player is very low. And don't get me wrong, I'm happy that we have the chance to get the Gazelle and, you know, free VIP tickets aren't that bad. Although I'd rather just get rid of all the decorations and just put the dragons in the chests, to be honest. Like, I don't want to open up divine chests and get decorations. Just put the dragons in there. The chances are already bad enough as they are. Like, literally, you could just get rid of the decorations completely and that would be fine. It wouldn't make the bottomless box, loot box sort of scenario good, but it would be a lot better than what we have. But, eh, you know, it's nothing unexpected. It's pretty much exactly the same as it used to be anyway. You can trade in some divine tickets for duplicate dragons that you get out of the chests now, which I guess is a good change, but if that dragon took you five divine tickets to actually get that dragon, and you only get one divine to get back as a duplicate, doesn't really work out as equal value. So again, even if we do get duplicates, it's not really going to help us out getting a singular ticket as like a, a trade in value for that. But whatever, let me know what you think about the chess. Are you going to be putting in money to actually, you know, buy some of the divines? I would potentially put in money to, you know, get the Divines purely for the sake of the Hathor Dragon, but it's a bottomless box, so you're never ever guaranteed to get the pieces for the stuff that you want. If it wasn't a bottomless box and there was like a, a secure, if you do this, you will eventually get this dragon, I would be a lot more willing to actually put money in, but hey ho, maybe that's just me. But regardless, you can also get 80 pieces for the epics and 40 pieces for the gazelle, it looks like, as well. So, I will put, I will cross my arms, my legs, my fingers, my toesies, and anything else that I have the ability to cross. And let's hope that we all get full pieces for all these dragons. Imagine if there was a super bug, and then everyone just automatically got all of these dragons for free. Like their first chest, 120 pieces for Seth, 40 pieces for the Gazelle. There you go, D job done. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? <laughs> I would love that. But unfortunately, that is not the world that we live in. But anyway, for now, I think that is mostly everything that we needed to go through for now. I'm still waiting on our Anubis to hatch, of course. He'll take forever. But I will keep grinding in these god-awful events for now. Good luck to you as well. Make sure you're logging in. And best of luck.